This video is about finding the surface area and the volume of a new object called a sphere. Now what is a sphere? A sphere, very simply, think of it as a ball. Okay? Every sphere has to have a center. All right? And from that center to any part of the sphere, we have this measurement known as the radius. All right? Being able to find that radius is essential to us to doing calculations for a sphere. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is surface area. Surface area, think about like if you had a ball and you were trying to find out the exact amount of wrapping paper to put around the ball. That's what the surface area of a sphere is. Okay, to find the surface area of a sphere, we're going to use the formula 4 pi r squared. So if you notice there, a couple of measurements we have. Pi, again, use the calculator. All right. And we have R, which, remember, is the radius. So this should be fairly simple. We're going to, again, round our answers to the nearest tenth. It's literally a matter of recognizing and identifying the radius and then substituting it in to the equation. All right, so the equation here, to find the surface area, make sure you label it SA, is 4 pi r squared. I know I have a radius of 9, so this would be 4 times pi times 9 squared, or 81. Now to find the surface area, I'm going to use my calculator, 4 times pi times 81. And that gives me 1,017. Now I need to round it. So let's see, a round to the nearest tenth. So that 8 be, uh, becomes a 9 because of the 7. And the last thing I have to do is label it with the correct units. Now remember, for area, the units are squared. For volume, the units are cubed. This is an area question. Surface area is area. So this would be yards squared, or square yards. All right. Second scenario we could come across is surface area is 4 pi r squared. In this problem, though, they give us the diameter is 4. I need to figure out the radius. The radius is the diameter divided by 2. I substitute in 4 times pi times 2 squared, which would be 4, which will give me a surface area of 4 times pi times 4, 50.3. And again, our units are going to be square units because we are finding area. The second type of measurement to find in a sphere is the volume. Now, once again, all we have to be able to find in order to calculate the volume of a sphere would be the radius. Remember, what would be the volume? Well, the volume would be the amount of air that goes into a ball to inflate it. That's the volume of the ball, all right? Um, or, you know, more specifically, maybe the, the amount of water that you could put in a, in a round balloon or something along those lines. All right, so just a couple of reminders again. For pi, use a calculator. And R, again, stands for radius. All right, now I'm going to, uh, I know the directions say the hundredth. Let's do the nearest tenth because that's how it's going to be on your assessments. All right, now notice I'm going to take four to find this volume. 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. All right. So this is going to be taking the radius times itself three times. All right. So might not be a bad idea for some of us to do that off to the side. So let's try this here. I know in this sphere I have a radius of 9. Well, what would be the radius cubed? I can go to my calculator and go 9 times 9 times 9. And that would be 729. I now substitute into the calculator. I have 4 times pi 
times 729 divided by 3. All right, so I come back to the calculator. 4 times pi times 729. Divide that by 3, and now round to the nearest tenth. It would be 3,053. And that 6 remains a 6 because the 2 next to it says, leave me alone. So this is 6. Now I need to label it correctly, and this would be volume, which is cubic units, or in this case, centimeters cubed. All right. To find the volume of this ball, I know that volume is 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. I am given the diameter is 12.4. I know that half the diameter, or 6.2, would be the radius. And I know I have to cube that, so I'm going to do that off to the side. 6.2 times 6.2 times 6.2. And that gives me 238 .328. I should not round because I'm going to round later in the problem. Okay? You ultimately only want to round one time in a problem. So I'm going to wait and do that at the end. So this would be 4 times pi times 238.328 divided by 3. All right, now I'm ready for the calculator. 4 times pi times 238.328 divided by 3 equals. All right, I'm going to round this. So it would be 998.3. And as always, make sure that I label it. Since it's volume, it will be cubic inches or inches cubed. I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions about spheres.